arranging nodes. All right, so here, here's a scenario that I often run into. So I'm gonna make a line like this. And then I'm gonna go and make another line like this. And I'm going to make another line like this. Okay. So what I want to do is if, if you look at the nodes here, they're all over the board. Like these are, this one's taller than this one and this one. What I want to do is arrange all of those. So here's how you do that. You go object, arrange and distribute. And then you hold shift, select all the nodes that you want to arrange. And then you can use this tool. Now you can arrange it based upon the highest or the midpoint. I'm gonna be doing it via the midpoint. Just like that. So now that becomes a straight line going across. This is even a little jacked up at the bottom. There we go. And now I can move them with my arrow tool. Okay. Now, um, these nodes right here, for example, they're and there, what I, what I want to do is try to join those in some way, right? But this curve right here is considered, uh, it's a right angle. Um, so if I went to, if I went to go actually attaching these two curves together, kind of like this, it, that's what will happen. So as a design, you couldn't join this one and this one together like that. As an alternative, you could do something like this. Delete that node. And you're going to try to grab those two nodes and it's going to be really hard for you. So go object or path combine. Now those nodes are the same, and now I can join them together. And if I need to come off of this curve, I could have always went like this. Okay? So when you're doing right angles with another right angle attached to it, that's, that's how you have to roll. All right, so that's arranging nodes. Very handy when it comes down to it. Enjoy.